I'm disgusted with myself. Oh, what have you done? I'm fucking ashamed of myself. Oh, no. I had one of the great... L- <laughs> in my defence, before I tell you in the bed where this, it was as brief as you could... It was as brief a moment you could have, but the fact that it even happened startled me and made me think that we need to spend less time together. I've had a, I've had a loo moment. Well, the fact you've started it with you're disgusted in yourself. <laughs> no, no. Makes me think, what do you think about no, me? No, 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 Th- no. You'll get it once I tell okay. you. So you know you know how when you look in a mirror you don't see the version of you- yourself that everyone else sees? Because it's like something where it's like your brain s- flips the image, you know what I mean, in the mirror. So you actually don't see the version of yourself. What that ev- about when we look at ourselves on the fa- Instagram videos? Or like so the on the phone, so if you want to see how you actually look, you can take a photo of yourself on your phone, selfie, and then flip the image, and that's how everyone else sees you. But like, you know when our podcast is filmed and our videos go out, is that what I look like? To me, yeah. But, and to, uh, 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 I don't fucking know. But if we, if I took a photo of you, a selfie of you now, and then flipped the image, the flipped image is what you look like. So they've created these okay. mirrors that all these fucking influencers are buying, and it's a reality mirror where you go like you hold it up to your face, and it shows you what everyone else sees, what you actually oh, I look don't like. Want that. But this is the this is the moment. Keep in mind this was brief. So the, I'm watching this video of a guy about to do it. And I'm holding my phone like this, watching the video, and I thought to myself, if he held up that mirror, would I see myself in the <laughs> in the video? Like, if he held up the mirror to the C's video screen for a brief second, I thought <laughs> he could show me what I looked like. <laughs> like oh, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? Not, you're not in the video. But I was watching the video, and I went, I dropped my phone, and I went. That is one of the <laughs> dumbest fucking things you've <laughs> ever thought. I, I, I was like, I actually took a break. I was like, that is so dumb. No, if he held it up, you'd just see the mirror in the in the yeah. phone. But I, I see where you're coming from. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, it and even that's you, the concern. You explaining it to me took me a moment where I went, would you? You see what I mean? See that? <laughs> <laughs> like... Just, and I was like, man, Lulu, got to stop hanging out. Well, I don't worry. I get it, senorita. <laughs> I get it big time. <laughs> like, fuck, that is dumb. It's not that dumb. It is so, Tobs. It's pretty bad. Fuck, it's, it's pretty, pretty I think bad. You were it's probably, the worst it's I've bad. had, I You're probably just tired. No, there was no excuses. Little it wasn't. Gachi didn't get enough sweep sweep. Well, I had had a very big weekend, you yes. Had. But that's You're no very excuse. You naughty, weren't you? I was a naughty boy, wasn't very I? Very naughty, aren't you? Aren't you? Well, last night I woke up to the smell of burnt toast. You having a stroke? Well, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I thought it meant that there was a gas leak. So let me take you back to the to lunchtime, Judge. <laughs> it's a gas leak, and it smells like gas. Let me take you back to lunchtime, <laughs> and then we'll circle back to the burnt toast. You see where I'm coming from with the with the whole mirror thing? Let, let's you see where it's not good. Let's circle back to lunchtime. <laughs> I cooked okay. myself a, a beautiful pasta for lunch, and I've obviously got a new stove. It's a gas stove. I'm used to um, what's the one? Electric. Yes. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> That's Jay. fine, buddy. Thanks so much for jumping it's, in. It there. is my pleasure. I appreciate it. Um, and so I was trying to get the handles of the two pot to take it off because I was going to pour the water out and then pour some sauce and put some more ingredients in and make the rest of the pasta. Mm. Um, obviously, I forget that there's flames involved in this. Situation, yeah. So I grab the two handles with the tea towel, and the tea towel lights on fire because it's caught oh. the flames underneath, oh, buddy. And I was like, ah! like. <laughs> waving it around, Josh, smacking it, stamping on it, and I get it out. But the tea towel's got like obviously bits taken all out of it. And I take a moment to breathe. I was like, f- I saw my life flash before me in my beautiful apartment, go up in flames. Yeah, you've lived by yourself for like a week. Literally, so I was like, maybe I shouldn't cook anymore. Or live by yourself. Or, yeah. Yeah. I probably need someone around more yeah. often. Um, a carer. <laughs> and then, so anyway, I went to sleep, and then I woke up in the middle of the night and went, 
and I could smell burnt toast. And I was like, oh. see, I thought that burnt toast meant that there was a gas leak. Yeah, but you've informed me it means you're having a stroke. Yeah, but you've probably just smelt like the remnants of burning the tea towel. You mm. know what I mean? It was probably just left a bit of a scent on the kitchen or in the air or whatever. Well, it, I went down a rabbit hole because then I thought, all right, the place is gassed up in the lounge. Maybe I'll be safe in my bedroom and I was too lazy to get up. So I thought, fuck it. If I'm going down, I'm going down. <laughs> oh, you've got, you, buddy, you shouldn't be living by yourself. And then I thought, what would happen if this building went up in flames? And then I remember Jill and Franco had this thing that stayed under their bed and it was like a, a, a rope, no, a ladder that latched onto a, a window <laughs> yep. or the balcony, and so you'd latch that on, and then you'd climb down the ladder if it was on fire. Yeah. So I started Googling for them at about 12.30 last a night. A grappling hook. How high was your fucking house? <laughs> like at what home. Mean? How high was it? Your house. Well, it was two-story. I'm on the third floor, Judge. I'll need one. But your old house. Two stories. Grappling hook's a bit of overkill. Disagree. Smart from Jill and Franco. You reckon? Yeah. And do you reckon Jill and Franco would be able to get a grappling hook, hook it, and climb down like fucking Batman? No, it's, it's, it literally just latches over the top of the balcony. So it just goes... No, I understand. And, oh. it's, it's not the method of the tool. I'm not wigging out about how successful the tool is going to be. What I'm panicking about here, and I am panicking, is like... Would your parents have the strength to do that, or would they just fall and hurt themselves? Probably safer to just get out the window... Drop. It's not two that, stories, isn't that? It's like. not that heavy from my research last night at midnight. What's not heavy? The the ladder. I understand the fucking ladder isn't heavy, Lou. What I'm what I'm saying. <laughs> I've just said to you, there's no problem with the apparatus. There's zero problem with the apparatus. What I'm saying is, would Jill and Franco have the strength? It's hard to hold yourself up like that, dude, on a rope. You're burning You're your hands. You're missing what <coughs> what I am putting down. I'm Josh. saying it's safer with. I'm saying it's overkill You're to have that because they wouldn't be able to use it. What? It's a ladder. It's, it's oh, a, it's a ladder. Okay, <laughs> fuck. Fuck's sake! They're not going down Rapunzel's hair, mate. So that's well, it's a fucking ladder. Well, hey. How about say they had a ladder that they'd put out and said they'd have this oh, thing where they hooked to the thing and then climbed it. I'm thinking like a grappling hook because it's under their bed. Oh, so how a rope fits under a bed better than a fucking ladder if it's two I stories worth. I said a million times it was a ladder that hooks on you didn't. to the balcony. If you'd said ladder, I would have listened to ladder. I'm going to listen back to this podcast and come because you're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who does the prep around here. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to listen no, back and I'm going to I'm going to cut that bit and send it to you. Cut it and send, kid. Because if you'd said ladder, I would have heard ladder. Can I finish my story? There's no. There's not fin finished it yet. So oh, fucking hell. I'll be. I'm going to buy it from eBay. The yeah. ladder that I'll climb down if anything happens. Yeah. And then I started thinking, okay, what happens if if the building's on fire and some firefighters arrive? And I thought, would I? I imagine two men down there, like I hold Kevin, but they're going jump. And I'm like, would I jump into them straight forward? Like, would I jump first or would I turn around backwards and jump off like so I land in them like a little seat? You would jump forwards and uh, twist your body in air so you hopefully like land. Yeah, naturally, when you jump off something, you like instinctively will land on your side. I think I'd do a pin jump. Would snap your fucking legs in half? What would be safest for me? That likely wouldn't happen, to be honest. They'd have, they'd have that fucking big trampoline thing that they hold out and you jump into that. But that feels like you go boing, boom, straight back up. Yeah, it's not an actual trampoline. Oh. It's more of a big, like, tarp that you'll jump into. Like, you know a, I mean? like those tents you'd have when you were younger that were rainbow coloured and you'd run under Run under them. them. <laughs> one of the great, they were still so one of the greatest times I've ever had oh, sorry, on this sorry. earth. We should get one. We should run around a Rose Bay in one. That feels right for summer. I'd love that. Just on the gas in your apartment. Yeah. Don't, I've got a guy. I'm scared. No, we've been with gas. For, we've used gas for. Well, I've had both, but like we uh, we're gas now. Really good trick for you to learn. Great way to heat up your apartment is when you leave the apartment, Lou. Put your gas on. Leave the gas on when you come back into the apartment, and you need to be like you want it to warm up. You just spark a match or spark a lighter. 
You form up fucking quick. So just try that. I tomorrow. would die. What? The, the apartment would go up in flames. No, it just heats you up really quickly. Kevin and I would be deceased. No, it's a life hack. Just try it tomorrow. That's very rude. What's r- not Tops, you do you've done that. Yeah, hundred percent. He lives by like, that method. We're electric now, but before we were electric, like when we'd go to like swimming lessons I'm not and falling shit. for it. I ain't falling for it. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a dumbass. I'm fire safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fire safe with my ladder. I can I can guarantee you you didn't say ladder. Otherwise I would have heard I ladder. I said ladder, Judge, but also uh, th- my only escape is the balcony. If the fire's coming up the stairs, I've only got the balcony. My windows have those little windy things so that they just go out further enough. And they've got fly swats. I've got the balcony and that's it. I need the ladder. Got fly swats. Screen. What? Screens, buddy. Oh, whatever. Cuzzy, cuzzy. Cuzzy, salivate. cuzzy, salivate. Ah. Yeah, well, you... Look, don't worry too hard, mate. Actually, uh, you I'm are the worry. I'm pretty sure yeah. I was worried at no. midnight last night when I'm on my own thinking my apartment's full of gas because I smelt burnt toast, but plot twist, I was having a stroke. You've just mumbled up so much that is so wrong. What? <laughs> you told me burnt toast yeah, was a stroke. You bet there was no burnt toast. It was your little bloody, it was your bloody tea towel. I think, Wasn't it, was sure. just, I think it was with my brain. Going crazy, wasn't Gr- it? Great. I'm sure. I'm sure. The reason, and another reason that I woke up is because I've been playing white noise on my Amazon Echo. And you heard me through the window. Fuck. I'm going to be quieter. Tobs, we're going to be quieter, bro. I told you last night. I saw you, padded shoes. I told you last night. Hey? Padded shoes, maybe, or something like just to keep quieter. Maybe we just get better binoculars so we don't have to be so close. Yeah, true. Get better intimacy. Yeah, that does ruin the intimacy for us, doesn't it? Get out of my wardrobe. What? I saw you in there, little peeper, <laughs> little peeper jack. <laughs> no, but my white noise just abruptly stopped last night. <gasps> <laughs> How? <laughs> what you said, like, you, you are kidding. <gasps> Hold on, I've got to text mum. Mom, you wouldn't believe it. Louise's white noise abruptly stopped last night. Fucking hell. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's because usually I have it on a loop. <laughs> yeah, right. It just okay. stopped. It's tough out there, isn't it? Just abruptly stopped. It's just, just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is. I just, oh. Sometimes I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I, I sleep in with headphones every single night. It's a big out, outside no, ear one. No, no plugs. Every night, Why dude. don't you just get e- earplugs? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Do you sleep? No, with- I need to listen to something to go to sleep. Otherwise, my brain is like just what? all over the place. You just listen to I listen to, to Ricky Gervais. This? Yeah. No, no, no. Fuck Wait, that. Wait, you listen to people talking in your ears? Yeah. You're a psychopath. No, can I tell you something? A real, a real... um. A real 360 moment, whatever the fuck they call them. Because I've listened to like, I've listened to Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington podcasts probably for the last 15 years. And I, I, there was probably five years where I listened to them every single night going to sleep. It was like my happy place. That's weird. And I've had bedwetters DM us and say like, I don't want to sound offensive, but like I listen to you guys going to sleep now. And I'm like, that is not offensive. Dude, I get that. And I'm so like, there was a 360 moment because I'm like, holy shit, now I'm someone's Ricky Gervais style. Was Carl it like Pilkington, a bedtime Stephen. story? No, it's just them yarning. But you, you, like I've heard a lot of them over and over again. So it's not like I'm waiting up to listen to them. You know what I mean? I'm like, I know it. It comforts me and it sends me to sleep. That feels pathetic. Dude, I can't go to sleep without something taking my brain off life. It's fucked. My brain does not shut down. That's... You know what you need? Hard drugs. A pen and paper. To write down your thoughts. Fucking, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? It's what you, to go to sleep because you... Oh yeah, oh, like this. 
I can't sleep. I've got something on tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. I've got something on. <laughs> oh, no. What if that my boss yells at me? What if I could? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or just go like this. Night, Dal. No, Judge. What I mean. What, which way is easier? No. What, I'm, what I mean, <laughs> listen to me, is because your brain's whirring so much at night time because you've got too many things on your plate because. It's what? Trust it's me. whirring. Like whirring. Whirring. Like, woo. Oh, okay, sorry. It's because you've got too much on your plate because daddy's flat out. <laughs> <laughs> your daddy, by the way. But so your brain's going because you're going, oh, I've got to do this tomorrow, I've got to do that. Oh, and what's happening in three months' time and blah, blah, blah. If you just wrote those all down on a piece of paper, they'd be out of your brain for mm-hmm. nighttime sleep time and then you'd put them away in a drawer with your pen and paper, close the bedside table and then you'd go, ah. Louisa, let me tell you something. I've been battling not being able to sleep for... The last, let's say, twenty odd years. Those aren't the really the thoughts I'm having. Sometimes they are. These are the sort of thoughts I'm having. What would happen if I was in Hong Kong and there was some sort of a terroristic threat, and I was in the building? What? How would I fix that? How would I do that? And for you're kang- telling me my had, thoughts are weird. Mine are fucked. It. Mine are fucked, Lou. You say I'm I'm crazy and shouldn't live on my own and shouldn't be thinking that. You set your You're fucking You're thinking it. Dude, I'm thinking weird shit. You're setting things on fire, buddy. But There's I, a difference. But I was thinking weird shit amongst setting things on fire on accident. I'm yeah, not- so mama, your mama, by the way, shouldn't be playing with open flames or gas stoves. Well, how am I meant to eat? Move out, kid. <laughs> oh, I know. Mama, you know what? gotta eat. Hey, eat how you've been eating for the last five years. Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my thoughts are fucked, dude. My like, it's just the craziest shit, and that will keep me up till three a.m. The craziest shit. Have you ever thought about sleep hypnotism? I have. I just, it's a Why bit woo woo for me, mate. No, I've had it done before, and it helped me for a bit when I worked on breakfast radio. Have I told you I worked for breakfast radio? You didn't work. I did breakfast radio. Yes, run me through that. That's, well, well what a great I mean, segue how, into how, long, how long do we have, Jack? <laughs> Let's do. I think this should be a four-hour podcast. Okay. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I went to university and I started um, don't, broadcasting. Don't you dare! Don't dare! Now, tell me about this uh, hip, hypnot- hypnosis, <laughs> hypnotherapy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, I've got to stop um, I've here. had it done before and it actually kind of helped. Like I think Well, it we, still helps. You go to bed at 7.30. But I don't sleep as well as I used to, but I'll tell you a trick that as I've noticed since living on my own, Jarch. Valium. Not Valium. Oh, right. I used to hop into bed at like 7, 7.30 and watch something on my laptop. Yeah, buddy. And then go to sleep about 9, 9.30. Now, I live on my own. I've got my fancy giant TV. I've got my nice couch. And i got Kev. I lay on the couch and watch things. Scroll on the talk, whatever. Watch something on TV. When I hop into bed at quarter to nine or 8.30, it's a different environment from being on the couch. So I'm in bed, which has made me fall asleep a lot faster. Can I just... Tops, can I just run you through Louise's advice for me how to go to sleep? This was her advice. I haven't Shut finished. the fuck up, Lou. <laughs> this was her advice. Hey, Judge, um, why don't you just go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Your advice was to go to bed <laughs> if you want to go to sleep. <laughs> it was such a long-winded no. way of saying, Judge, have your dinner out on the kitchen table. Um, go and watch some telly in the living room and then, oh, when you're ready to go to bed, go, go to your bedroom. Oh, no, thanks, fucking Sherlock's cracked the case, no. everyone. No, We're no, <laughs> oh, good. Because I mean, if you if you keep your bed as your sanctuary oh. of sleep, and you oh. stop eating dinner in there, and you stop oh. watching your TV series in there, uh. I assure you, yep. you would fall asleep faster. Yeah, no, mate. I've tried every single well, thing. Well, why don't we get a hypnotherapist in here? Okay, and you'll do that. Yeah. I'll write that down as homework. Okay. Well, we probably can't get them in here. We'll have to go to their office. Yes. I'll do that tomorrow for you. I'll do that. Hi- I'll go for a hypnotherapist. We'll go to, I need to sleep better a as hypnotist. well. hypnotist. We'll go together. Okay. And That's actually a big piece of content too, actually, if we're filming us, sending us to sleep and shit. Yep. If they want to – you know what I sh- truly should do if I really want to go to sleep? I just should scroll through your content. <laughs> just – that's just a joke. I love your content. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> <laughs>
don't. No, I'm just, buddy. You need great content. Well, half of it's with me, so then you think you correct with, with you. Be correct. So you think yours is sleeping? Yeah, it was just a joke, fun joke for the podcast. Wrecked, can't. You know, know something else I have in my apartment the other day. What? So. A lot of brands will just send me random stuff, and sometimes I'll seriously. Oh fuck <laughs> off! Fuck you, serious man. Must be nice. Like, yeah, you like oh, like, yeah. like you influence or something. Oh, didn't you get sent like a whole fucking tray of like steak the other day, big tomahawk? Yeah, yeah, for Joshy because I I walk out at an ice bath and I and I fucking sauna and I like. I like uns uns box, and then this like meat company sent me some like fucking protein and some fucking steaks and some fucking tomahawks. Tomahawks. <laughs> What did you get sent? So, most of the time it's great stuff. It's edible, it's clothes, it's Good perfume, stuff, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, don't know who it was from or I didn't ask for it and not really for me, but I was sent a butt plug. So you hated my gift? <laughs> <laughs> not one butt plug, two. Different sizes. There was a smaller butt plug, and then there was a larger butt plug. And and the the most awkward part about the whole thing is, I walked up the stairs. We're like, what the fuck is this from my letterbox? And I'm walking up the stairs, and my sweet old man neighbour's like, hi, and I'm just standing there with the butt plug. <laughs> Fucking two butt plugs. Two butt plugs. Yeah, just thought they were weird chess pieces. Wait, they kind of look can, like a dummy. Yeah, I put them wouldn't in the it bag. be wouldn't it be great to. Didn't know you nicknamed your do it the men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I got. I just chucked him straight in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, so hold on. Hold on, Lou. Oh dear, okay. <sighs> so, did they tell you? D- so, on the I packaging, got- does it. So- c- can we just fucking find out what bl- butt plugs are used for? Like, yeah. Like, what is their use, dude? I've always wondered this. Is it the sensation in your butt? But, ha- but isn't so it what- just sitting there? I think it vibrates. No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. That makes more sense. I thought it they just. Like, it looked like a dummy. Like you looked like you you put your two fans. Yeah, around dude, I think that's that'd be oh. how you go. Oh yeah. Part, like it's just not, not in my wheelhouse, not for mate. Me it's either. just none of that shit is in my fucking wheelhouse. Apparently, they just feel really good. Not all of them vibrate and stop. Tops, but apparently. apparently. <laughs> Tobbs hasn't even checked his computer, Bedwetters. <laughs> yeah. He's been sitting with his hands behind his head like this. He goes, "Bro, they just feel really good." Well, Actually, he's only got one left now from the two she got okay. the other day. So. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard they feel amazing. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, so I, it's just purely for the sensation. And they like warm you up for anal sex and stuff like that. Okay, oh, it's that a precursor. Sense. Yeah, that does make that sense. It's oh, like um, it's like um, God, pre pre gaming for the party. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the sex of version drinks, of like yeah. pre drinking. Yeah. It's pre drinks. <laughs> I'll be over at seven thirty. Fuck, better pre game. <laughs> <laughs> we are so immature. Yeah, correct. Okay, well, good. Uh, hey, bad weather's don't don't say we never teach anything because mm. we've all learned. Have we all Finally, learned, guys? We're learning. I've learned. I've learned. <sighs> My neighbour learned. <laughs> <laughs> That is great, dude. Uh, so wait, you'll just get because usually if I get sent shit, I'll have a yarn to people. They're like, "Hey, we'd love to send you something," and I'll go, "Yeah, great. Here we go. We sort it out." Yes. You're just getting sent shit. Some stuff I've said, "Yes, please send me that," but then also PR companies have my address now, oh. so they'll just fire them through. Okay, gotcha. If they'll fire as many butt plugs through as they want, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> anyway, well, it's made for a great little yarn on the potty, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you've enjoyed them, haven't you? I did have lots of fun, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> Lulu. Yes. Should we do a bit of bloody um, red light, green light? Yeah. Red light, green light. Helicopter flights, like fun ones. Like get booking a helicopter flight. To, to go to a destination or just Just go like on? fly around on a helicopter or whatever, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to say green. Oh. 
Why? They're just so dangerous, apparently. Don't. I'm going in on one in a few weeks. What? Are you? Yeah. Oh, mate, apparently they're fucked. Don't tell me that. Yeah, like oh, super dangerous. I'm red. Why? They're just so dangerous. Well, you know that they. I, someone sent me an article. They do have ejector seats. Some of them do, like the military ones. Yeah, apparently. so I was right. But it doesn't. I was right. No, you weren't. I was right. No, you weren't right. Well, I was right. Well, you weren't right well, you because the saying the still exists. The, the saying still exists, bud. Because obviously, through modern, as the more you progress, the better things become. I think some military heli- helicopters can drop out the fucking propellers. Looks pretty new to me, the copter I saw. Exactly my point. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Technology advances, so things can have. <coughs> But apparently they're just super edge, man. So yeah, I'm just. You're only saying this because you know I'm going on. What? I didn't know that. Weeks. When are you doing that? When are you doing that, man? Tor's birthday. Oh shit! Didn't know. Fuck. Anyway, I'm not coming. What's yours? Really dangerous. Very scary stuff. Asshole. I'm fine. They're completely safe. You are fine. Okay. Red light, green light. Sleeping with the curtains or blinds open. Green. You do that as well. Well, I just yeah. You know, the only reason I do it is because I sleep with my <coughs> eye mask on. So someone came home uh, one night and was like, "What the fuck, Lou? You got the blinds open?" I was like, "Yeah, doesn't make a difference to me. Sunshine, I got my eye mask on." But it's hold on. Out. But why don't you then just close the blinds and not sleep with an eye mask on? I like the feeling of the cushions on my face. Do ya? Yeah, that and helps I, you get to sleep. Was too lazy to get up and wind them down. Yeah, I'm, I don't sleep with the door. I like sleeping with the door open, not closed. I don't like that. What? Sleeping with the door open. That's scary. No, Someone I... Someone could peer around. I prefer that. I've always thought I prefer just having seen them in the doorway instead of hearing the door open. So I well, sleep I with the door open. I don't sleep tonight. <laughs> don't, don't know, dude. I've just always slept with my door open. Steph thinks it's the weirdest shit in the world. And she tries to close our bedroom door when we're living in an apartment. I'm like, dull. Leave the fucking door open. She's like, why? I'm like, because every other door is closed. So why do we have to close this door and be locked in? It's let let weird it let to it know. let it's the breeze weird, come through, baby. Weird to have your door open. Never sleep <laughs> with my door closed. <coughs> so sorry, it's not in my throat. It's all right. Um that's really bizarre. I couldn't sleep with the door open. Really? Yeah. I, I don't like sleeping with it closed that much. Do you just have one door into your apartment? Two, front and back. And do they lead to the outside or a building? Back leaves outside, front leads the building. So someone can get in the back. We hear them, doors open. So with the door closed, I wouldn't be able to hear them coming through. Door open, boom, I'm onto them straight away. See, I've just got one door, so no one's coming coming for me. Yeah, but you're inside a building. So why would you sleep with your bedroom door then closed? Because I'm in my bedroom. Yeah, fuck that. But you live by yourself. Why lock yourself in? Keep it open, keep it fresh, keep it moving, baby. Mm-mm. You want to get up and go to the kitchen at night? You don't need to feel around with a little door handle. No. Mama's going straight through. She's open. I don't need another. It's mid- free. I don't need another midnight snack. How good are midnight snacks, <laughs> bud? Come on. You know? When I had jet lag, I kept waking up at 2 a.m. and having lunch. How <laughs> fucked is that, dude? It is, that is such a good way to put starving. it. Starving. Mate. Like, my tummy would be like, and I would have had dinner, like, normal time. Yeah, yeah. And I'd wake up and be like, fuck me, it's time for lunch. Mate. It's a weirder sensation. Yeah. You're full drilling meals at fucking 2 or 3 a.m. Yep. Odd. I don't know how people push through that hunger and go, try and get on the right time frame. Lulu want to eat. Suck me off with the time Lulu frame. Lulu hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss me with that Lulu fucking... stomp, stomp to ex- fridge. You know, you be careful. You've got <laughs> new tiles, don't you? You don't want to break your tiles, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a full-on hormone um, that increases your appetite and stuff. And if you're crossing time zones, like, you, it can... Fuck with that chemical. No way. Yeah. Is that why you get so hungry? Sounds like it, yeah. That's fucking cool. Good fact, wow, bro. Wow, great fact. Love Dad. that. Right hormone. Five star. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now who's it? You're a good boy, aren't you? <laughs> you very clever, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you top love? Very clever little Thank boy. <laughs> Wait, what about old mate who carved fucking aren't you into one of his tools or something? Remember that? That's so cool. I think it was toenail clippers. Oh, was it toenail clippers? I think so. That's great. I didn't see what it was. Yeah, I just seen it true. quickly. That was great. Mm. Um, red light, green light. Standing in a parking spot to hold it. 
rid? Yeah. Just find another. Well, like, so your partner gets in, sees one, runs into it. Oh, and then you're like, we're, we're, we're going here. Just find another. If I, honestly, I saw a video of it the other day. They were driving around a car park, and they were driving into the spot, and this bird's fucking running in. And go, like, I'm holding it. And he's like, no, you're fucking not. And she's like, I'm ho- we're holding this car park. He's like, you're not in a fucking car, bitch. He's like, get out of the way. And she's like, no, I'm holding it. And um, they just start going back and forth. I had this surge of anger. I was like, <laughs> I would fucking hit her. I'd hit her. No, I'd, you would not. Slowly. I just, like, I just push her until she's away. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like those cars that have like, those bull horns. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd get her in the middle. I'd muster her out of the spot. <laughs> but I was just, the anger that I got watching that video, I was like, you fucking, you motherfucker. You weren't in a car, you're outside. I do think it's a red. It's a huge red. Yeah. God, it made me cranky. I've got I'm angry now. I don't really like car parks in general. Look, I'll park on the street. What? W- but what do you mean? Well, I just don't like taking Gianni in them. Why, bud? Because I'll scratch him. <laughs> or, or, or Imagine having to live like you. Or I'll lose him. Imagine having to live like you. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm impressed. I'll lose him. I've lost him multiple times in BJ. But surely if you do it that much, you've just got to be like, I'll lose him, got to be conscious of it. Mm-mm. Perfect. Because it's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's like... Run the gauntlet. It's like... It's like I'll text myself and I'll go P3 next to Cunt Road. Like, country road. Country, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. It's like someone's tr- truly misnamed a street. And then I'll, I'll go, okay, and then I'll waddle, waddle down to what level I think it is, and then I'll go, nah. But you've texted yourself. Yeah, but then I'll, I'll go, no, nah, this isn't P2, this is P3, and then I'll waddle around, and then I still can't find the whole thing. Buddy. I just park on the um, street. Like three kilometres away, nah, and then walk in. It's about... 900 metres. Jesus Christ! <gasps> Louisa! No! Oh I've, to be Develop fair, a system judge, and I, rectify that's it. That's what I was just about to say. I have now <laughs> found a car park. <laughs> I have now found this one car park that I know exactly where it is. No, no, Vidal. No, it, an exact, like there's like four, six car parks. So I go down this one entrance and then I go up <clears> the <throat> escalator and I know how to get, it. I'm fine then. Yeah, that photographic memory coming into play. Yeah, if, look, you know what would fix all of this? I don't know, Bedwithers, if you remember this from a prior episode when Lou was convinced she had a photographic memory. If you did, guess what you do? Got it, logged it, banked. I know where I'm going. Not all photographic memories work for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are forgotten. And is that, it, is it? It happens to be one of them. You've only got so much storage. Yeah. You've got to delete some. Yeah. Uh, my my data's all backed up. My data's <laughs> backing backed up. up, backing all up, backing up the data ass, backing up that little junk trunk. So, buddy, yeah, just develop a system so you can so you don't have to park a kilometre away anymore. But also, it's hard with the big pillars. Sometimes you parked in between like two big cars, and then you got a pillar. Yeah, not for me, kid. I don't want to. Not yeah, for but most. You've got a reversing cam. No, it's sh- hey, hey, old hey, 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 hey. I've had a reversing cam and Bluetooth. For a year of my of my thirty three years, for the prior fucking sixteen when I've been driving, none of that shit. Well, touch wood. I, the only um, dents that Gianni has is in my old house. I just open them straight onto the garage brick, so the side of him's just got little dents coming out. Besides from that, we're all good to go. You know, I operate like a fuckwit in a lot of ways. Good to know you do too. Yeah, I literally just open. I go. <laughs> But that was also my ex-boyfriend owned a panel beaters. So I could just poof, open it up as much as I wanted. Yeah, sweet. And then yeah. My miss has a doctor. Could you get me the hammer? Crack. <laughs> oh, I mate. She's a doc. Why did you break your leg? Oh, don't worry. The old girl's a bloody doctor. She'll fucking cast her up. Yeah, but now you're in a cast for fucking three weeks, four weeks. Oh, no, but she's a doctor. So fuck it. Like I could leave Gianni as dirty as I wanted and then just take him to the panel beaters and clean that little ass. <laughs> You're a worry, buddy. I love you. You're a fucking worry. Is it um, my turn? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Imagine not being able to drive. You're so bad at driving, you have to park a kilometre away from a fucking parking spot. <laughs> that just has blown my fucking mind, well, mate. Now I'm embarrassed if anyone sees me in the yeah, junction. Oh, mate. Well, I may have parked in my one spot that I know. 
Okay. Um, red light, green light, toe tapping to music in public. It's kind of like, it's muscle memory, isn't it? I was on the plane coming back from Brisbane listening to a banger. My foot was tapping away. But what was the embarrassing part is that I was in the aisle seat, so I had my legs crossed like that. So my toes just going... <laughs> Hitting the seat in front of you? No, no, no. But, like, everyone down the aisle would have seen this toe just going... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. But I'm going green. I'm kind of green with I it. I loved the music that was blasting in my ears. What was it? Um, it's this new song. Do you want me to play a little bit of it for you? Yeah, I want to see what you were experiencing at the time. Get on Bet you it'll be fucking absolute hey. shit. Hey. It'll be absolute shit. Hey. You pipe down over there. Sorry, man. So fucking sorry. You just keep your little... Ooh, this is kind of good. You keep your little opinion over there. Over there. Over there. I'm not going to do anything of the sort. You can't tell me what to do, lady. So get the fuck out of here. Well, I'm going to tell you. It got really bad real fast. <laughs> It got real bad why, real why, fast. I can't find the other device. All I can find is Peter's TV. Should I connect to it? No, just play it here. Oh, well, I thought I was being professional. But should I connect to Peter's? Play something for him? Jump on the hub. Porn hub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's shit. Come up in the club on a Saturday night. Oh. What is this from 2002? Does that beat not get you? You don't want you to tap your toes to this. Have a good time. The DJ throws on my favorite song. God. That doesn't get you going. This sounds like something I made in Garage Band when I was fucking 13. Shocking. 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 That's one of the worst fucking things I've ever heard. Listen to it. That's a banger. How? Does it go anywhere? Just like that? All the way. What about this one? No, no, no. You'll like this one. This is like children's shit. God, bro, your taste in music is dismal. Tob's your verdict? Mate, I rate. It sounds pretty groovy. You like yes! that? Yeah. Stop that. Like in a time and a place. Stop that. Groovy. It's shit. Come on, Judge. That is shit. Come on, Judge. That is Judge, pure Judge shit. Judge likes Willie Nelson and the Beastie Boys. Two absolute fucking <laughs> icons. You just named icons no, of we, both genres. I'm kidding. We had a good time listening to old school classics. Correct. Every time Judge and I drive here together, I go... Can we listen to music that we both like? Which usually means I'm going to put on fucking Pitbull. Yeah, or R&B, hip-hop. But, but what now we've found out we both like classics. Correct. But you Love also... only hurts without you. Yeah, but also, dude, you are still the most annoying fuck mm. of all time. Mm. Because <laughs> a song will just come on and she'll go, nah. So she goes, let's listen to the stuff we both like. And then when if I like a song, <laughs> she sits there all quiet and like grumpy. Because no, she doesn't I like it. Don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And then when one you come, one that you like comes on, it's all fucking hands going everywhere, dancing, singing, blah blah blah. And then one you comes on, don't like you. Just sit back there like this, or you go on your phone, and you just sit there like a little t t chucking little tantrum. And then you just keep you listen to two seconds of each song and just keep skipping them. So that's why I'm like, can we just talk when we come to the podcast? Well, so I don't have to deal with that shit. I like listening to music that you like. No, we it's both, all about, it was it's your all about playlist. Of, correct. We both liked and you, it. And you, dude, you went on a skip-a-thon yesterday for about a two-minute skip-a-thon. Oh, you kept going, nah, minutes. nah, nah. I'm literally they driving and she's shit. going, nah, what was nah. What the one we landed on? And I was going, nah, <laughs> nah. What was the one nah. we landed on? Sing it for nah. me. It was Mr. Tiger or something. It was bad, but no. Yeah, bad, bad Bezza or something. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. Yeah. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. The Baddest baddest man, man in the whole damn, damn town. town. Better than old mm -hmm. King Kong. Mm -hmm. Meaner than mm -hmm. a junkyard dog. Mm -hmm. Red light, green light. Filming charity videos. What do you mean? The epidemic. I'm torn by this. This one has torn me. 
You know how if anyone these days is doing like a charitable act, they'll like film it and post it to Instagram, like all the all the content Ones creators like, and shit. Hey, here's a hundred dollars if you l- do or, this, or just like here's a homeless guy and like, and they give him money and they give him food. So I'm like, that's great, but I'm like, would you do that without the clout? And attention that then comes with it it tears mm. me i don't know like do you know what i mean because you know that the, a lot of them are just feeding their egos a lot of them are narcissists they're feeding that ego that needs to be filled because it's like look at me i'm doing something great agree but then the homeless extent, person that's gets what I mean. shit. they're getting what they you know what need, I mean? which is nice it tears me because sometimes because you're looking at it knowing what is happening you're knowing that yeah. that person but isn't doing also, it through altruism. They're doing it but through then also self. it's like everyone creates a business somehow and that's sort of what they've created their business. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I do, do you, kind you, you of, know? I think. No. Like we've created a business from doing comedy videos. They've well, subjective. It, sadly. Yeah, it's subjective. Trying it's to. very subjective. Um, do you know what I mean? I do. And then also the homeless people are getting fed and they're getting money, which is nice. Yeah, but it still irks me because I know that they're not doing it because they care about homeless people. You see where I'm coming from? It would be like when we drive to the podcast and give the window washers money. It would be like you wanting someone to... It'd be like me you. filming every one of those interactions and posting it to my story, yeah. dude. D- great point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're just doing it because Cause I, you got cash. Uh, correct. Like, if I, what would you think of me if every time we pulled up to a window washer and I went like this, oh, give me that money, and I got the money, I went, Thanks. hold on, mate, hold on, mate. <laughs> there you go, man. Enjoy your day. Cheers, bro. Yeah, respect you too, man. Keep hustling. Every time. Do you know what I mean? You'd go, that <laughs> guy's a fuckhead. <laughs> yeah. He's doing something nice, but he's a fuckhead about I it. I know, but then you've got to see the end result, which is them getting there. Food and money. Well, no, I always go and take it back off them after the video's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm orange. I, I'm going green just because they're okay. getting fed. Respect. Um, okay, one more from Lulu. Farting in the first three months of a relationship. Red! <laughs> you can't do it in the, the fucking first five years with me, boy. It's over. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking to Bruh, first uh, three months? I was talking about this with my friend. My days. With my friend today. And she heard the guy that she's been seeing very briefly do a fart in his um <laughs> <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> Just said, uh. don't try and do a little sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> don't try and do this little sneaky sneak. <laughs> we know what you're doing in there. It's um, it's real fucking. But then rough also, here, like, he's got gas. He's got to go. I know this is the but like, look, mate, I'm pretty good at this. If if the stiff fart around you now, fuck no. When she has, I'm like, bruh, <laughs> fucking miss me with it. <laughs> you just hate it. Right? I hate it. It's honestly one of my things. I fucking hate it. Honestly, she's done it once. <laughs> Dude, she did it once on purpose in front of me. And it's like, you she literally went like this. She goes, she goes, like that. And it farted. And she went, I didn't know. And I went, don't, fuck off. I was like, fuck off. I was like, that's fucked. I don't know what it is about it, man. It like, okay, it, it, it gives me the biggest ick. Yeah. And I can't help it. And I know that's not nice of me. But I don't give a fuck. But also, you're allowed to have things that you don't like, and farting is one for Bro, you. Bro, yeah, but then again, like, it's also, Human like, nature. been funny if, like, she's asleep. And she's, like, going, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit! She's I dropping up! walking with someone today, and we walked past an old man, or not that old, he'd probably be, I don't know, 60 or whatever, and he just went... <laughs> <laughs> Did each other and we were like, <laughs> dude, I'm like, just walking, letting them fly out of Bondi, bro. Yeah, see that to me in relationships, it's like, 
I'll respect you. You respect me. I, I'm actually kind of envious of the relationships where they're all farting all over each other, but it's just not me, mate. I'm not. I'm not much of a father either. I'd prefer you just do it in the privacy. Bro, if you were in the, my car and you were driving the podcast and you farted, I can tell you something. I'd never get over it. <laughs> if you were like, Judge, love really hurts without. I'd go. I'd piss myself laughing, but I'd never forget it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Accidental farts are the worst. If you try to cover it oh, up too. I remember you're the like, oh, the seat's a bit weird. What's up with this I seat? Like, I was 18, <laughs> my very first like serious uh. boyfriend. And we're like walk on this little hike, like walking down a hill. And I just went, do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Lou, is it? And I was like, <gasps> and I couldn't cover it up. What'd you, how'd you cover we it? We just like, started laughing. Did you? Yeah. And then another time with... um. Another ex, I don't think I've told this story. I was sitting on the toilet, we were just like cracking up laughing at something, like pissing ourselves laughing. And he was just standing in the doorway, we were like crying with laughter while I was on the toilet. And oh. I just went, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on the toilet? It was a fart. I understand. <laughs> but fuck me deadly. Eh? What? That's fucked up. Why? I'm on the toilet. <laughs> what are you doing talking to him? What? Is that not normal? What do you mean? You're sitting there. I was about to pee. And nah, we were crying with laughter at something. Well, you're both in the bathroom and you're just on the b- toilet. Well, he, Ned had an ensuite, so he was standing in the, hall, in the in the doorway. We were laughing at something. Yeah. We'd be like pissing ourselves laughing. And then I was peeing at the time. Well, while you're still yarning. Yeah. I don't fucking do that. Really? Nah. I feel like once you're... So nah, once I'm you're like, comfortable, you would step a bit to the fucking bar. Yeah, years. correct. Oh, I, I'd pee in front of someone. No, nah, I'm like, close the door. Once you're comfortable. I'm like, close the door. Don't. I don't want to smell dehydrated. Piss. That's exactly right. I'm not going to stand there and what if Steph is pissing and like talk to her. Absolutely not. I'm closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> you're quite a um, little like... Prude or something. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Kind of, maybe, yeah. But do you know this one bird once cupcaked me when I was like 18? <laughs> Bro, I've never said such fucking vile things to anyone. I tore strips off her to the point that she slapped the fuck out of me. And I was, that was one of the worst things. So I've actually went very like good friends. We were good friends. She went like that. Bro, I'm sitting in a bar. We're on like top deck together. We're, sit- I'm, we're sitting at this bar and I was like. <coughs> She would always talk about shitting and she'd always just be sitting there in the group and like lift up her leg and fart in a mad group of people that she's met for fucking known for like a day. It's fucked. Bro, I was pretty rogue and I was like, oh man, I'm not about that shit. And she just was always talking about shit. So, you know, as you are as kids, she also had huge calcium cannons. So her nickname on the tour was shit tits because she'd just talk about shit all the time and she had massive tits. She was cool. Mm-hmm. You know, shit tits comes up to me at this bar. Boo. Cupcakes me. I was like, <laughs> you fuck. And I was like, are you fucking fair income? Just started tearing strips off her. And she just cocks back, boom, cracks me. You probably deserved it, but also. Sorry? But also, don't be cupcaking at a pub. Hey, yeah. Anyone, My brothers used to any, do it to anyone. me when I was like, when, when I was like seven. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Is it? Yeah, but as adults, don't be cupcaking me as a a human adult. It wasn't nice. Especially a female. Not cool. Well, you can't do it to me. Wouldn't wouldn't ever do it to you. Never dream of it. Hotline. There it is. Hotline bling. That's the best jingle you've ever done. Thank you. No, thank you. Come on, senorita. Now, one came in 10 minutes ago. Play it. Fuck it, we'll play it. Darcy, Lulu. It's a Wednesday night. Smash. I'm sitting here, my good mate, Adam. He also goes by Adam Crockmark and Yui. And he's, he's had a proposal to me saying that he's not going to play football with me next year. He's not going to play football with me next year. Unless I get judged here to say on a live podcast that he can listen to, he's a big fan. Adam Crockmaster Newey, you have to play football in 2024. 
So if you can help me out, Judge, that'd be absolutely marvellous. Lou, you're fucking awesome. Judge, you go all right, mate. Keep up with the work, lad. Fucking love you. Well, I'm not going to say it now because I only go all right. Judgey, say it. Uh, your friend can have a year off. Oh. Fuck ya. <laughs> no. Say what it. What was it? Cropmaster Huey? Adam Cropmaster Huey, you got to play footy in 2024. Do it or else. Sorry if I got your name wrong, but it was a bit hard to hear. But if you don't play footy with your mate, you're a dog. Keep pissing, mate. And keep pissing. And, and, li- keep and, li- and get and, fi- and, and find. And, um, and you know what they say, mate, the old adage. The, pa- the pound, the, the more get you get. Of the. Have. If you have. Yeah. To get fi- if you get footy, if you find. Help. Yeah. Did you finish? And if you. Get it. <laughs> yeah, it's a great old saying. <laughs> You got another whole line. <laughs> I've been so turned on in my life. <laughs> <laughs> almost as itch as remember when we were going to film today. And you're like, can you just get out of the car? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll take off. Yeah, yeah, tops. yeah, yeah. All right. Suck your little fucking sexy senoritas. Excuse me, senorita. Calling. I don't know if I missed something or not, but where the fuck is Dior? Like, not uh. shit all over Toddler. Like, go off. Love to have you here. But where is Dior? <laughs> anyway, also, great merch idea. Get T-shirts or hoodies or something or other and get Daddy or Mummy on the front and then <laughs> on the back you get I'm Mummy, by the way. Oy. Anyway, love you guys so much. Fair weather for life. Bebwares, love I you like too. I like that. Great ideas, great questions, great hotline. Thank you so much. Dior, our sweet prince, is on holiday. He's in Europe and he's back next week. So You've heard had... Tobler's feelings with that. Yeah, Tobler's done a little No, that's fine. What, is he fine. Chop, are you, what are you, fucking chop liver, Tobs? No, that's fine. It's fine, whatever. I know, man. I'm Get so... your fucking Dave back next week and then you'll be where all the hotlines will come in. Where's Tobler? Where's Tobler? <laughs> 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 Correct. No, yeah, Dio Dave actually gets back tomorrow. He's been um, in San Fran for his brother's wedding. Mm. And then he went to Europe to visit his missus. So I'm sure he'll come back with fancy some Fancy Dio. He's, he's a lucky little senorita, isn't, isn't he? he? He's he very is. fancy, aren't you, Dio? I'm chill. I bet he hasn't been listening to the podcast. Not a fucking little chance. Bitch. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> no Our way. sweet Prince Tobler would if he was on holiday. Ah, a percent. Okie dokie, smoky fucking choky, let's... Let's go! I hate when people say that now. <laughs> it's so overdone. It's so overdone, seriously. It's so 2021. <laughs> oh my God, like, are you fucking slay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just sometimes, baby, you just got to let it go. She'll just run out of steam eventually. Not tonight, Not sunshine. tonight, sunshine. <laughs> Love a kebab. I was just thinking about a kebab. But I'm thinking like a proper kebab, not a stick kebab. I want the Parisi's little chicken stick oh, kebab. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you no, going to no. get one on the way home? Oh, it's, gosh, it's, I'm just hungry. My puku's hungry too. Puku for me still sounds like something naughty, don't you reckon, Tom? Yeah, i got to agree. Well, that other thing is not hungry. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> cut that. Letting it know. <laughs> not, cut a, that. not a chance we cut that. <laughs> Nowadays, that anything I ask thing, to be it? cut. Oh, it's just fuck never. off. It's like, yeah, we used to be much more forgiving. We'd be like, yeah, darling, yeah, if that actually makes you feel uncomfortable. No, we'll like, it. fuck now off, Lou. Fuck off, Lou. <laughs> Beat it, sister. I was joking. Well, I know. Hello, I mean, you oh. beauty. Um, because she, she almost kind of does it when she does her little cry. Oh, I've skipped some. Oh, uh, go back. I want to hear it all. Hello, you beautiful senoritas. Uh, I've just been listening to episode 71, and like a good little boy, I've pulled over and put my phone to my ear. You can tell. That's what Lulu told me to do. <laughs> uh, just thought I would uh, give you an impression that I think Lou actually can do. Um, because she, she almost kind of does it when she does her little cry fucking thing. Uh, we're going to do a dog, Lou. All right, you ready? So. You start off with The image of him sitting on the side of the road. Someone's like, it's he all good? He's going. 
<laughs> oh no, no, he's fine. He's just a serial killer. <laughs> I'm so, so proud of him for pulling over because that phone line, if I was on Breakfast Radio, Jarch, 10 out of 10. Do you work at Breakfast Radio? I did. Would you Andrew? like me to carry nah. up? Okay. Now well. listen up. You want me to do it? Now you've got to go bark, bark, growl, whimper. Okay. Bark, bark, bark growl, whimper. Growl, whimper. Yeah, he was right. You can do a dog impression. I found my niche. That was, hey, that was a great hotline. Mm. Clear, concise, beautiful, well spoken, well read. Um, Daddy wants one. I'm fucking daddy. <laughs> Mummy want one too. Let's see what this. Mummy, by the way. Let's see what. Let's see what this one does. Hello, senoritas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to think. I'd like to think he just. He'd been building himself up to yep. call. He did it, and then just froze. Fuck it. He just panicked. <laughs> oh, does Hello, they? senoritas. Beep, panic mode. Okay, uh, one more. Okay. Find us, find us one. That's, I fucking love those sort of ones. It's just like, what? They what's always happened? seem to happen at the end. Yeah, as well. correct. Yeah. yeah, we'll go. Let's find a good one. It's just, uh, that was pisser. All right. Up, bed with us. Um, just grovelling under a house at the moment. Kiwi. Okay, I've, I've got a, I've got a theory for you, sir. I think that Jarch is just as shit. Is telling stories as Lou. Cute. But, but, oh, no, sorry. He's good at telling stories, but his stories are just as shit as Lou's. But the way he tells them makes them that much better. Like, he just knows how to spin a yarn, whereas Lou's like, oh, we fucking ate three sausages once. Like, <laughs> fuck Lou, come on. Pick up your yarn game. No, I won't. Anyway, love you too. Catch you later. Love you too, bro. Keep pissing. Keep pissing. I'd agree. I think I've got really good stories. I know you do, bud. I still stand by the three sausages. We know you do. I'm going to do that again one day soon. No, you won't. I am. That's the f- that'll be the first thing I'll ever say. We're going to cut that from the pod. What? If you did the three, because I've never cut anything from the pod. If that would be the first time, I'd go, cut it. If you came on here and told that fucking three sausages. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm not letting you cut it. This is like, t- this is like having a, f- a big red button in front of her telling her not to push it. I've got a free Saturday, Sunday this weekend. You know what that means? Three sausages for mummy. <laughs> and you might just eat some sausages as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just the same gags over and over. <laughs> Especially when it's three sausages. <laughs> the same gags. Yeah, I got that one. I'm way yeah. happy with that one I'm, in the first I'm, one. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> hey mate, I'd probably agree. Yeah, my yarns probably aren't that fucking good, but at least you've admitted I can spin them. I can spin that shit, DJ. Oh, wicky, 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 wicky. DJ us out, LDD. Thanks for wicky, listening, bedwetters. Uh, 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 uh. Keep piss pissing. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Church is done.